Okay guys, um, my neighbour lent me a wire brush attachment for the drill, which is really making short work of bits that I'd been faffing around with for days, and as you can see the lugs are cleaning up quite nicely, we've got almost no flecks of paint left in the nooks and crannies of the lugs, which should mean our new paint job will look really nice, I'm here's hoping, so I'm just keeping going with that, trying to get every last little fleck of paint out of the lugs. Some areas of this frame I'm going to have to curust, uh, just to make it look really nice. Just to get that nice uh, clean look before, and also to stop the rust from developing further and then bubbling through the paint and me having to repaint the bike altogether. Uh, bottom bracket could do with a bit of a clean out, uh, so I'll do that before I get painting. And uh, we should be ready for paint very shortly, I think. Okay guys, we're going to rebuild and polish up our rear brake calipers. These are Shimano Tourney calipers. I did the front ones the other day, and so I'm, with any luck, going to use those ones for demonstration. So we've got all our nuts and spacers and stuff like that, so we'll take them off. And now you're going to need a 14 here. Actually that came loose very easily, so... Oh, okay. And then, I believe it's a 12 on the front. Yes, it is. Now, if I remember correctly, actually... Oh no, it'll... It'll do. Just... Keep going like so, and I... Th is it finger tight? Kind of, but there's so much stuff in the way. It ought to be finger tight, but I think it's... The thread's probably needing a good clean, so we'll just keep going with the spanner for a few more turns. Ah, there we go, we've got a bit of space, it's freed up. That's that off, and that off. Now there's lots of little washers and things to space it all out, so we've got it disassembled now. Now what you're going to want to do is put all the little bits into a jar, fill it with, well, spray some LED 40 and shake it up to clean it, and we're going to do something a bit more detailed with the main bits of the caliper. We're going to get a toothpick and we're going to go into here and just sort of scrape out the muck of the last 40 odd years. Sometimes, for some areas you may need a finer point, maybe even a safety pin, as these toothpicks blunt very quickly. But you can see something of a difference already. So we're getting some of the manky bits to come out. Okay guys, we've put some aluminium polish onto one side of our brake calipers and left the other one looking a bit tired just to show you how much of a difference it can make. So now we're going to buff it off because it's had a few minutes. Just got to scrub fairly hard. You can see already we're beginning to get quite a nice finish coming up. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. That's looking pretty nice. Let's keep going with it. Might need to have a second coat on some areas because some bits got missed first time round, but it's quite a difference that a bit of polish can make. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bobby Kryptonite here and welcome to another Falcon update. As you can see, we've got the frame all curious that we did that yesterday and uh, I'm going to paint it. I've cleaned it down, I've made sure everything's nice and smooth, so... Without any further ado, let's get painting. I've already shaken the paint before we started the filming, so there wasn't two minutes of me walking around shaking the paint and not really saying anything interesting. So, without any further ado, let's see. That one's already open, so we'll start with this one. Get that one out of the road. Fingers crossed. Oh, by the way, what? A, rather than hang the frame from the piece of wire directly, which would leave the wire in contact with these bits, 
here, meaning it wouldn't get painted. What I've done is, I've taken that bit of metal that we used for drifting out the fork cups, put it through a bit of wood that I then sort of rounded off and smoothed down so it would fit inside, so that nothing that the bike is hanging from is actually in contact with the outside of the frame, so hopefully that will help us get a nice finish on here. Let's get cracking. I'm painting into the wind, aren't I? Down, first coat on. Not too bad, I don't think, so far. A uh, bit of a sort of imperfection there, maybe there, but uh, we'll hopefully get it with sandpaper and get it flattened back and sorted out. But then again, that maybe I'll try and put a brake cable clip and just make the rear brake cable run along there and hopefully hide it with the cable clip so that no one sees it. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, but. I'm pleased, it's turning out better than the forks so far, wish me luck. <laughs> 